right, so I replaced the fuel filter when I was over at Andy's house. Got the car to my place finally. Um, the car ran. I was able to drive it around the side of the house so I can position it for a trailer. And then it started acting up again. Uh, kept dying on me. So when I came back with the trailer, I drained all of the old gas out of it um, as much as I could. And then I put in fresh uh, high octane with some uh, system cleaner like I did before. So hopefully the new filter I put in just got clogged with the crud that was in the gas tank. So this time I'm going to pull everything out again, drain the tank from the bottom a little bit. Uh, might need to prime the pump a few times to get it. Um, the pump does work. My wife just helped me. Uh, turn the ignition while I was underneath I could hear it kick on so hopefully again it's just a filter um, I'm going with the forward motorcraft one the dirt last one I had came with clips to hold the uh, filter on this one did not so that's a little upsetting um, I'll have to reuse the clips from the other one but there's two clips that hold it onto the hose so put this one on hopefully it fires up and uh, I can do some burnouts or something All right, so I got the car down, got the new filter in, and about to crank it up a few times. Gonna have to prime uh, the pump, prime the lines, because a lot of air got in there while I was draining the fuel samples out. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully it starts up and go from there. All right, I wanna show you how to check fuel pressure uh, without a gauge. Now, I can't tell you exactly how much fuel pressure is coming out of this, but I can show you that there's not a lot of fuel pressure at the rail. Down here, you'll see a little Schrader valve. Looks like, you know, a tire valve. What you wanna do is take a screwdriver or something, put it in there and push down. Now, if there's a lot of pressure, it'll shoot up and hit the hood. As you can see, it's not doing that. It's just barely pouring out. Uh, before I replaced the filter, it was nothing, dry. New filter in, it is putting gas to it, but not a whole lot. I've primed it for a while, and so low fuel pressure. I did pull the injectors out the other day, and they did spray, so they're not clogged, which is good. But I need to drop the tank and put in a new fuel pump, which I got right here. Also, want to check what's inside the tank. I did fuel samples the other day. There was a little bit of debris. I couldn't tell if it was rust or dirt. Uh, could have been something off the fuel line that just fell into the mason jar or what. But I'm um, going to drop the tank, going to see what's inside, and going to replace the pump. And hopefully that fixes the problem. The regulator's fine. Pull the vacuum line off of it. And no gas shot out of it. So it hasn't failed. So everything looks pretty good except for maybe the pump. So we'll see.
So when I was removing the gas tank, the uh, little plug that goes on top of the fuel pump from the harness snapped a little tab off that holds it in place. And so I grabbed some safety wire and I safety wired the plug back on. Uh, this is a huge thing we did in the Navy. Granted, I didn't have the right safety wire tool, but I made it work. And for you air framer types out there and mechs, don't judge. All right, this is decent. Right there. So the wire coming up around underneath the little tabs on the side. And then I spun it around. So there you go. Safety wired the plug on because the tab broke off. What can you do? go it was a bad fuel pump the whole time car started it's running let's have some fun